mean, there is something to enjoy about this, but- <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Subnautica. Now, first off, yes, my hair is blue. This is the first game that I've recorded with blue hair, and that might be confusing because you've seen quite a few videos with pink hair. And that's because I'm pre-recording a lot of videos because I'm about to go back to Cincinnati to visit my family and friends for Christmas break. Or happy holiday break, or whatever you celebrate break, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm just going back so I can spend some time with my family and that's gonna be really cool. But! That being said, I'm trying to record over 40 videos before I go, so there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be seen, and this one in particular uh, is a highly requested game that I'm going to be playing for you guys that I know nothing about. And usually I don't know a lot when I go into games, because for the most part I'm bad at games and I'm not doing too terribly good at any given time. But this in one in particular, as far as I know, is like a crafting survival game, except that it takes place underwater. And if you know anything about me. In the 22nd century, humanity is beginning to colonize space. Before colony ships arrive, habitation vessels are appointed terraforming missions. The Aurora was one such vessel. Uh -huh. During its descent, the Aurora was struck by a mysterious energy pulse, resulting in catastrophic hull failure. Okay. A single life pod jettisoned prior to impact. Me. You were in that life pod. Oh, good! Seriously, I've never even seen, like, gameplay of this video, and hold on, I have to change something real quick. Okay, that's just gotten marginally good enough. So I know nothing about this game, and I kinda did that intentionally, like- Ooh. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> that's so cool! I've never seen any, any gameplay of this. I've never seen anyone play this game, and I know that Jack has played it, uh, but I haven't even asked him about the game besides should I play it, and he said yes. So that's as far as I know anything about this. Oh, I thought I was in a chair for some reason. Anyway, so this game is also in early access, which means, whoa. Okay, not cool. <laughs> I knew it took place underwater, but I didn't know that it was gonna start out like Bioshock with the plane going down into the darkness. I mean, it seems like the ship is normally intact, so did I even need to jettison? I mean, maybe there's people surviving on the board of that ship. Okay, whatever. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. I hope I have a diving suit because that would be- Oh, look at the weird fish. I mean, we are on an alien world. I didn't even know we'd be on an alien world. I thought we were just on Earth. Okay, so the main objective of this game is just to survive, as far as I know, so I'm gonna be- oh. Dig sand. <gasps> really? Oh! Oh, that's so cool! What is that? Is that a sand butthole? Oh, that's just shadows. Oh, that's so cool! I can deform the environment? I've loved deforming the environment since I played- Ten seconds ah! remaining. Okay! I didn't know I was supposed to be watching for that. I didn't know I could deform the environment, or I loved deforming the environment since I played Magic Carpet 2 on the PC long ago. That and Populous 3 by Bullfrog Entertainment. A great gaming company that fell out. Break limestone. Oh, acid mushroom? Hell yeah, it's gonna be a party under this ocean. So, I hope I'm doing good, but apparently there's limestone to be broken. How do I break limestone? Oh! Hi! Oh, you're not good, are you? Oh, I hate the ocean. Did I mention that I hate the ocean? Hello! I know the PDA is there, probably should be looked at because it has instructions or whatnot, but I'm a little worried about- Whoa. Hi, buddy. <laughs> How are you doing? How you doing, buddy? Hey, you got a club-like explodey tail. At least that's what the lights usually mean for me. Can I pet you? Can I eat you? Ugh. You don't seem to agree with me. Whoa, what is that? Oh my god. There's so many noises. Hi! You've got a funky face! Oh, you're releasing- Did you just pee? Did you just go number two? I don't even know if you aliens like you do that. The Aurora. Zero life signs detected. Oh! Lethal radiation levels detected. Uh oh The main drive core has malfunctioned. Oh! The primary dark matter containment field has dropped to 36% amplitude. Oh! Continuing to monitor. Okay, that sounds bad. Should I worry about- Ooh, God, this gives me- Oh, oh man. I hope- Oh, what are you? Oh, I hate the ocean! Ugh, I hate the ocean. Ugh, ugh, don't grumble at me. What are you? 
Oh, God. Emergency. Oh, Ten yeah. Seconds of oxygen <laughs> remaining. I got it. I got it. I got it. I'm in it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna read my PDA because that's what I probably should have done before I started this game. But God damn, I hate the ocean. There's so many creepy crawly things in there that you have no idea what they're doing. And this is in a completely different world. What could it possibly mean? Titanium. Alrighty then. Whoa! I can't- there we go. Okay. My mouse went a little awry. Ooh. Hype. Pump air from the surface? Ugh. So I know that there's some sort of like, uh, buildy do thingy, like you can constructinate th some things and, and do that in general. Let me open my PDA. Oh. Ooh, I filled my entire inventory with acid mushrooms. I probably shouldn't have done that, but whatever. 87% titanium. Oh, I have more. Okay, so I can fabricate a whole bunch of titanium. Well, that's handy, that. Cool, it turns it into a very blocky cube of titanium with symbols on it. Cool. Oh, cool. I mean, I always did like these crafting guides, or games guides. These crafting type games, because they did have a lot of potential for cool gameplay, but often you'll find that the cool gameplay is kind of replaced by people trying to make money with crafting and survival games, which was why there was a bunch of them people fell out of it. I mean, there were some fun ones, but there were some really bad ones. I'm just assuming that I need to turn it into an ingot to get it clear up my inventory. Okay, blueprints. That's a lot of blue- I'll- I'll probably flip through the blueprints in between episodes so I don't waste too much of your time. What am I supposed to do with these? Okay, whatever. So there's- there's logs, no life sign detected, uh, there's radiation leakage which is probably bad, so eventually I'm gonna need to build a home. Which is really interesting. But I do have titanium. But I probably should get more stuff, so I'm gonna go out- and I imagine that this life pot isn't gonna last forever, especially in this ocean. Probably gonna sink down into the depths. Hello, fishies! Are there more weird monsters for me to be eaten by? I mean, another thing that I have to do is I have to find a way to get more air on these expeditions. What does that mean? Break limestone. Hit the oh! Oh, okay, well I didn't really need that. I had plenty of salvage. Oh, this is so weird. I know. Ah, those sounds sound bad. Alright. I just know for a fact that I'm gonna get eaten by something big and very scary very soon. I mean, if I start venturing off into the deep, I know that death is the only thing that's gonna await me. Okay. But it is interesting that I can deform the environment and do whatever I want with it. I mean, this must what it mean to be able to just be totally free. I mean, a lot of people like this game. It's very highly reviewed. So that's pretty cool. Oh. Oh, that's seaweed. Or whatever the alien equivalent of seaweed is. Hello! I am from Earth! Are you the intelligent species of this planet? I got a... Achievement! No narcosis! I don't know what that means. But I got something. Ooh. Eh, I can make it. Let's see. I don't know if there's a way to sprint or anything. I'm pretty sure I'm at one speed the entire time. Uh, come on! Come on! Almost there. What's with the music? Hello? Emergency. I get it! I know! Remaining. Are you gonna be my sassy computer wife for this adventure? That's a weird boxing in the ocean top. Anyway, I guess I just keep gathering up materials. Oh, too many noises. I don't like the noises. Ugh. There's too many noises. I mean, seriously, the, the ocean is the scariest thing in existence. And if this is an alien ocean, that means there's horrors beyond my imagining. I mean, I don't even know what's in our oceans. Nobody knows what's in our oceans. We haven't seen everything yet. Ugh. 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 I mean, can you imagine what horrible monstrosities there would be on an alien ocean planet? Maybe there's no land anywhere here. Oh, inventory full. God damn it. Eat something? I don't have anything to eat. I got acid mushrooms. I don't know if that'd be good enough. Oh, can I go in through the bottom? Caution. Oh. From the Aurora. Suggest erratic fluctuations in the primary dark matter containment field. A breach of the main drive chamber may cause a cascading quantum flux detonation. That... I don't know what a lot of those words mean, but it probably means bad news for me! I think! I don't exactly know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I... Oh no, my quartz! 
Okay, so I got silicon rubber, but I don't know what that do. So I need to get some food, but I don't know how to get food. I may die! I may die, and I may pay play badly, and that's totally understandable. I, w I am totally accepting if people are going to be critical of what I'm doing, because honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing, and it seems like there's actually a power meter, and I probably shouldn't just be spamming it with what I got. But this, ooh, yay, survival knife. I like the sound of that. Can I stab something? I hope I can stab something. Okay, so I got no deployables. I got very few tools. Maybe I shouldn't have turned it all into ingots. I probably shouldn't have done that. I should probably pay attention to stuff that I'm doing. It's getting night. I don't like the ocean at night. Survival knife. Habba. Oh God. Oh God. I thought I was. It's an air sac. I'm not putting my mouth on that. There's no way in hell I'm putting my mouth on that. Oh God. What do I do with you? What do I do? What do I do with you? Oh God, it's night. Oh, I hate night. Oh God, it's night. Okay, so, uh, w uh, ooh. Do I still, oh God, I do, why? Huh? Oh, Chrisley, thankfully odorless and spongy. Did I mention spongy? Oh, thank you, cooked air sac, exactly what I've always wanted. Where is it? There it is. Oh, oh good, I got an air sac in my face. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I know I'm probably supposed to go towards the ship at this point, but for- Ugh, who are you? What do you- come back here! Come back here, I wanna eat you! I don't even know if this- like, how do I even know- ooh, hey, what's that? Ooh, red ta table coral? I can't do anything with it, I probably need another tool. There's a lot of noises. But I mean, seriously, how do I know that any of these creatures are actually gonna give me sustenance? Or- What is that? Oh, I don't like that! Oh, I'm scared of the ocean! I'm scared of the ocean! The ocean is a big scary place, don't blame me. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't get anything new. Damn it. Okay. Glass! Let's try that. I don't know what glass could do, but it's probably just best to get as many... raw materials as possible. Cooked food, cured food. Oh, those are weird noises. Okay, still nothing new. All right, let's go back down. Oh God! Oh, oh God! What is that? Huh? Oh God! I, I thought I was just on the surface. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! What are you? Oh no! Oh no! Oh. Okay. Okay. I'm assuming that there's got to be some way that I can actually use this air sac. Because, I mean, air sac would make sense, but may maybe I just need a whole bunch of them. I can string them all together and then slap them. Just for fun, you know? Not really to do anything. Ugh. Giant coral tubes. I don't know what that means! Oh, God! Oh, God! I hate the ocean. Oh, God, I hate the ocean. Oh, oh, is that a thing? Oh, that's a thing, isn't it? I saw lights in the darkness. Oh god. Ah. Uh, that's- uh, that legitimately scared me. I thought it was a thing. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Serious Markiplier here to do some serious, uh, sciencing for this science adventure. I mean, there is something to enjoy about this, but- ah! Oh! Oh, fuck! Me! Oh, what was that? Ah! Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh, oh, fuck! Uh, 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 uh. I know! I know! Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh god. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what was that? I don't know what this game is doing. Oh man. Whoo. Oh, Nelly. That scared the crap out of me. I hate the ocean, guys. I hate the ocean. I legitimately hate it. I mean, I don't mind it. Like, it's good that it's there in existence, but god, I hate it. Oh, it's so scary all the time. There is no point at which the ocean is not scary. You will never catch me dead in the ocean. Oh, okay. Now, is that all of them, or do I have some more? I have some more. Okay. Okay. So those offer food and some water, which is awfully nice. So. Warning. Readings from the Aurora exhibit characteristics consistent with total degradation of the dark matter containment field. 
spikes in quantum fluctuations suggest an uncontrolled cascade detonation will occur, with a probability of 83.5%. That sounds bad! What do I do about that? Do I have to get away from it? Oh, was I supposed to go to it sooner so I could get things before they blow? Oh, that's probably exactly what I was supposed to do. Crap. I'm such an ass. Oh god, what is with the noises? Are there things that are trying to get in my pod? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> How could I miss it? Alright, I guess I could- I guess I should try. Ugh, I still don't know what attacked me. Something attacked me. But it was not cool, bruh. Not cool at all. Okay, so this is gonna be my trek. Because it seems like that thing's gonna blow, and it's either gonna blow me with me in it, and everyone in the comments is like, No! Mark, you idiot! You fool! Don't go towards it! You, you all have very epic and nice voices, and you're very handsome and whatever. Or beautiful, depending on what you want to be. But, frankly, I have to explore the unknown. That's part of what being a, a Markiplier is all about. And I'm not gonna be- oh god, it's so scary. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, it's so scary in this ocean. It's beautiful. It's scary. Oh god, it's getting deeper. Uh. See, the worst thing about it is that you can't see the bottom. Even if you go a little bit into the ocean, you don't know what's underneath you. Oh god, my life raft is so far away. Wilson! I'll come back for you! Oh, it's so scary. I don't know what's up with the graphical bugs, but I played this on recommended graphical difficulty because it said that the higher level was experimental, but I might try that a bit later if it's a little better. Oh, it's so scary. Oh, that's so scary. Even that is scary. Just like seeing something in the fog of the ocean. What is that? Can I even get closer to this thing? Is this actually something? Maybe this is actually nothing and I'm just being an idiot. Probably. Hey, I am Markiplier. I'm known for being dumb. Oh, I'm leaving my pod. Everyone in the comments is screaming at me to- No! Don't do that! No, 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 no! Well, too bad. I'm already stupid. I'm already going. Oh, it's so far away. Okay. Alrighty then. Oh boy. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Oh god, radiation detected! Oh, it was a stupid idea! Why did I go? Oh god, I'm dying. Ah, slowly. This was so stupid! Why did I go here? Why did I go here? Why did you guys let me go here? You guys should have told me that I shouldn't have gone there! Why? Oh, hello. Hello, noises in the deep. Hello, scary, scary noises in the deep. Oh. <laughs> I hate the ocean so much. Oh, man. I know the clicky thing probably isn't an enemy because he didn't attack me before. Unless at night he turns into a horrible monstrosity that wants to eat my soul. Emergency. Ten seconds of oxygen remaining. I gotcha, I gotcha. It's okay. It's cool. It's chill. I'm chill. Whoa. Hello. Can I stab you? I've got a knife. I just want to stab you a little bit for research. Show severe instability in the primary drive core. The central dark matter reactor will reach a supercritical state. In T minus. Ten. Uh oh. Nine. Oh no. Eight. I. This is bad. Uh oh. Six. Uh oh. Five. Can I see it at least? Probably gonna kill me. Three. Uh oh. Hello. Uh oh, no. Radiation's still here, huh? Oh, that's bad. Well, that's really bad, isn't it? Okay, so there's no going home for me, huh? And none of the other colonists survived. Well, that was a bit of a fruitless task, but here I am. Slightly better for it, I guess. I'm just gonna go into my pod- oh, I'm just gonna go into my pod now and then cry because I'm all alone and everyone that I knew and loved is now dead. Self-charging power cells. Oh boy. But I do bet that now it's probably going to stop bleeding radiation because that's how radiation works, right? It just, you know, it decides to stop after a while. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fabricate up some stuff and I'm gonna survive this. Because nothing's gonna stop the Markiplier from being the ultimate survivor, no matter the cost. Okay, so... 
So I've got a lot of stuff. That means I can fabricate the right tools. If you all believe in me hard enough, then I'm gonna survive this. I know for a fact that I will survive. Hey, cool! I got another fa I got another aqua lung thing. Yay! Oh boy! That's good. That's good, right? Ooh, that means I can dive deeper. Oh, I can make <sighs> cool. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay. Cool. All right. So I just need to go get more basic materials and then get started on my own personal venture. Okay, cool. So I know what I need to do. So I, I'm not doing too terribly for someone that's just getting started in the game and not knowing what I'm supposed to do. Heck, I probably made a lot of mistakes, but I'm not dead yet. So, hey, there we go. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. If you want to give me tips and tricks, let me know down in the comments below. And thank you again, everybody, for watching. Thank you for being here, and thank you for enjoying my blue hair. I'll probably be in Cincinnati hanging out with my friends, but I'll still be doing a lot of Christmas specials and Christmas-themed videos in general. Thanks again, and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh!